Hello, it's Aitor Echeveste, and today I'll bring you a small tool I've been working on recently. It's very common to need to add a new shadow over our plate and face the typical problem of not knowing how to make them look like a single unified shadow. To solve this, I create this tool, which allows you to add a new shadow and merge it with the existing one on your plate, capturing the color and luminance quite automatically. As you can see, the tool has the option to add or remove shadows. To use it, I recommend first selecting the preview option. Here, we can adjust our shadow or light plate to blend with the original shadows. The range knob will adjust the luminance key of our shot, and the threshold helps eliminate imperfections. For details, I use a median node, which can make the tool a bit heavy. Here, you can see another example with the face where I'm trying to achieve the similar shadow on the right side, preserving the skin tones. This is a slightly more complex example, where we have a very contrasted shadows and lights. Still, as you can see, the result is quite good for a starting point. There are parts where we didn't have any detail in the image, so it's impossible to recover it completely. It will depend on our shot. The tool also allows to remove the shadow from the shot quite quickly. We just need to adjust the gear to make it work properly. This tool is not perfect, and there is a bit cherry picking in the examples, but I consider it's a good starting point, or even sufficient in some cases depending on the quality we need it for our shot. That's why I've set up the tool so you can copy-paste the script without any breaking or disconnecting pipe, allowing you to import the texture, color or edge as needed without any issue. You'll have a control node with all the knobs. And here you can see how through this gear I extract the shadow and use an in-paint node to create our shadow place. Then I use a divine multiply technique to work in our texture or in our color separately. There are also some adjustments to improve the transition between the edge, but if you need it you can fine-tune everything yourself. I hope this helps.